Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the latest news from Bahrain Television. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued today decree by law 19 for 2016, amending some provisions of law 32 for 2010 regarding financial disclosure. The amendment changed the definition of financial disclosure in regards to minors' possession of real estate and properties. His Majesty also issued a decree by Law 20 amending some provisions of Law 26 for 2014 in relation to the establishment of the National Institution for Human Rights. He also issued decree by Law 21 for this year amending a number of provisions of the Law of the Central Bank of Bahrain and Financial Institutions issued in accordance to Law 64 for 2006. His Majesty the King issued a decree by Law 22 regarding the protected sales companies which work in the fields of private and collective investment, undertaking, securitization and insurance captives. Also today, His Majesty issued a decree by Law 23 on trust funds regarding the definition, assets, beneficiaries, purpose, resources, rights, duties, obligations, regulations and management. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, attended today a dinner banquet held by Thai counterpart Prayut Chanucha in honour of the government's leaders and their delegations participating in the second Asia Cooperation Dialogue Summit in Bangkok. The Prime Minister of Thailand welcomed the audience, expressing thanks and appreciation to the leaders participating in the summit, affirming the positive outcomes that will result from the summit, which will contribute to enhancing cooperation between the countries. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the efforts of Thailand in the organisation, hosting and facilitating of the summit, which will enhance cooperation amongst Asian countries and enhance its political, regional and international status. His Royal Highness discussed with his Thai counterpart, government leaders and their delegations, matters of regional interest and the topics included in the summit and its importance in strengthening cooperation amongst Asian countries. On the sidelines of the second summit of the Asian Cooperation Dialogue, that's the ACD, held in Bangkok under the slogan Asia One, the Forces Variety, a Bahraini trade delegation headed by Minister of Industry, Trade and Tourism Zayed bin Rashid al Zayani, took part in the economic activities associated with the forum. The events included workshops attended by a group of financial and bank experts during which they spoke about a new era of financial connectivity in Asia, the role of new technologies in the development of the Asian economies and financing infrastructure in Asia and sustainable financial networking in the ACD private sector. Minister of Industry, Trade and Tourism said that the recommendations on Asian cooperation in the commercial and financial fields relating to sustainable development encourages small and medium industries. While well, Mr Nabi al Chawala said that the sessions dealt with strengthening the means of financial communication and acceleration of the transfer of money in order to serve Asian and global trade cooperation. Adol Muscati, member of the Shura Council, stressed that the Asian summit serves and to endeavour to make Bahrain a hub for Asian industries in the region. Businessman Mohamed Salah al-Din said that the dialogue opens the way for more Asian cooperation in many economic, commercial and financial areas. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed utmost pride at the extraordinary and incredible achievements by Bahrain Endurance Team 13 athletes, Daniela Reef and Jan Frodeno, who put in outstanding performances at the Ironman 70.3 World Championship in Kailua, Kona, Hawaii, to defend the titles won last year.
His Highness outlined that these achievements confirmed the Kingdom's high level in this sport and the leaps taken by the Kingdom in triathlon in a relatively short space of time, thanks to the support it receives in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. He said that whoever followed Daniela Reef and Jan Frodeno in the previous competitions before will have realized that they were moving steadily towards making this achievement. He added they have been maintaining great technical prowess and outstanding fitness levels. He noted that Bahrain Endurance Team 13 have become a solid competitor and its members have until now won many medals. He also affirmed commitment in maintaining these achievements in order to promote the Kingdom of Bahrain and its champions. He affirmed that the team will keep moving with steady steps into gaining greater achievements for Bahrain. His Highness said defending the Ironman World Championship is notoriously difficult in its storied history. Only four men and four women had accomplished the feat. And today, Reef and Frodeno claimed their place amongst those titans of the sport as the two took victory once again in Kailua, Kona, Hawaii. Reef sprinted through the finished shoots in a time of 8.46.46, breaking Carfrey's 2014 course record by a little over five minutes. And Frodeno took his win in the time of 8.06.30. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Athletic Federation, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received today at His Majlis Sin Rafah media figure Majid Sultan, who presented His Highness with a book titled Bahraini Football, March of Achievements. His Highness commended the documentation of athletic movements in the Kingdom, particularly Bahraini football, which will contribute in preserving its heritage and emphasise the efforts exerted by officials and board members and chairmen throughout the history of Bahraini football. He affirmed the significance of the book as it highlights the important events and challenges in Bahraini football history, tells the journey of local teams in the kingdom and talks about the successes of the national team in regional and international games. His Highness also received writer and director Ahmed Yaqub Al-Mukla, where he presented His Highness with his poetry book. Sheikh Khalid expressed thanks and appreciation to Al-Mukla and commended the idea of his book and how it reflects the beauty of Bahrain and its people through traditional poetry. His Highness also praised the efforts of Al-Mukla in reinforcing the artistic movement in the kingdom and the GCC countries through directing a number of successful television shows. He wished him further success and progress. His Highness then received media personnel Hazem Al-Sheikh, who presented His Highness with a copy of his master's thesis, a poll reviewing the views of a number of the media elite towards the television coverage of the 2014 parliamentary elections in Bahrain. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that Bahraini media witnesses remarkable young talent, people who believe in a positive creative change going on to commend the efforts of Al-Sheikh in preparing his thesis and wished him further progress and success. Minister of Finance Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa led Bahrain's delegation in the annual reception for Bahraini banks yesterday in Washington. The event was organized on the sidelines of the annual meetings of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank Group. The Minister of Finance stated that the reception shed lights on the financial services sector in the kingdom and highlighted the available investment opportunities to attract more international financial institutions to take Bahrain as a center for their expansion plans. Participants praised the reception, considering it an opportunity to exchange expertise and to discuss cooperation plans with other banks.